So what the hell is happening, yar? Vikram, clearly you don't know how to handle jelly beans. Let's start the show. I'll explain to you. Chal done. Two thousand seven trend page, Zach. I can't believe that actually the English players threw jelly beans at you. What's the story, boss? We bowled first. We we got England out uh, pretty uh, yeah, recently. We had a good grip yeah. on the game. Yep. We we batted very well. I mean that was that was really important for us to you know uh, have control over the test match and we scored about four fifty five hundred runs I think and I was into bat. Obviously uh, English uh, players were quite frustrated uh, with the way uh, test match was going. So as I walked in there was a jelly bean placed on the on the crease. So I actually went to the umpire and I, I explained to him that this is what is happening you know and they trying to provoke me. It happened again you know I, I thought. After after me going to umpire, it'll stop. It didn't stop there. I thought that you know there are three four guys there on the on the slip. So let the whole stadium know you know what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> so I just uh, basically went went to the slip cordon and I I used some words you know which which were uh, hard to use it here right now on, in our conversation. <laughs> But you know you it it felt that you ran to the slips like a gadadari bhim. We were all worried what is happening there. <laughs> yeah, so that's how the story started. Okay, and then obviously. Uh, You know, you have rules and regulations which you have to stick to on the on the field, and then there is a code of conduct. But KP went nuts, huh? Because the footage we saw, you suddenly saw KP running towards you and mouthing in his typical dialect. The other day, Graham Swan did a great imitation of uh, KP. You know, he says, uh, "Kevin Peterson loves Kevin Peterson. He likes to go all over the place and talk about himself." Uh, this is the kind of guy KP is, and that's why you took him on specially. Well, I mean, I didn't have anyone in mind to uh, to take on. Like, you know, I was just waiting for the first guy to react. And uh, you know, KP being KP, he loves the limelight, so he <laughs> <laughs> he started it. So I I didn't have anyone in mind. You know, uh, so it just basically I, I just wanted everyone to know that you know what silly things mm. is happening on the cricket field. You know, but especially. Zach, you have the habit of taking on the big guys, huh? Well, I mean, if you have to sing the ship, it's best to go after captain. So wow. so no one. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you something which uh, you like actually. This is about uh, somebody who's actually your bestie, isn't he? Complete This man, cookbook. Okay. Matthew Hayden. It's oh, a nice. similar profession. You are in the restaurant business. Matthew Hayden is in the restaurant business. But uh, you didn't like him so much, right? See, I've respected each and every individual I've, I've played against. That respect, which was always, always there. Yes, I used to make sure that no, none of the batters are getting too big in my head, like you know, in terms of uh, their approach to the game and stuff like that. Similarly, I used to think that if a, if a batter is thinking huh. that I'm not going to get out to this bowler, this particular bowler, my job was easier. So, so you know, if 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 a, I mean, suddenly the batter is going to go defensive because he's thinking of not losing his wicket rather than scoring runs against. me okay so you know as as a bowler i used to sometimes try and get batters in that uh, thinking mode frame of mind yeah by by saying things to them you know be it on the field or off the field normally people are little loud in their sledging especially the aussies but you did something really bizarre when it came to maddy hayden actually uh, the the series against australia in india hmm. i got opportunity in a in a in a function uh, hmm. prior to the game Where they asked me who is your favorite batsman to bowl to, and I I took Hayden's name, and he and was there. Yeah, he was he was there in the same function. So you know, it just kind of and and everyone was in the function just laughing and stuff <laughs> like that. So it kind of like you know it became like that for him that you know. So he, you put the message exactly into and his mind in the function yeah. that boss. And look, I like I mean, bowling you know, to you. Some days it works, some days it 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 doesn't. But I I just remember this incident because it did work. The next day. uh he was he was batting in that test match and uh and first first spell I, i bowled to him he kept leaving me <laughs> so i i didn't get his wicket on uh, but on on that particular wicket in those conditions i think it was there was still a uh, a contest won by me because you know he he didn't hurt me and, and that's what uh cricket was all about always like you know being being out there trying new things you know some some days uh, it works for you some days it it doesn't and one of your favorite cricketers all time is graham smith we all know that and i know everybody jokes about it but for us it was very funny in the 2006 tour uh me and harsha were sitting in the commentary box and by chance somebody had put, put up the stump microphone on and it was at a very high level and suddenly i was seeing shrishan bowling to graham smith in the slips they are saying well bowled zack well bowled zack and i am thinking uh, shrishan is bowling why well bowled zack okay i said maybe i have heard it wrong 
नेक्स्ट ओवर इज अनिल कुंबले अनिल कुंबले इज बोलिंग टू ग्रैम स्मिथ कमॉन जाहिर शाबाश मैं सेट बॉस यू गाइज आर स्लेजिंग टू ग्रैम स्मिथ सो मच अनबिलीवेबल यार Yeah, I mean, it was uh, good. I mean, you know, the, it's is good uh, to feel that kind of advantage over a, over a batsman. Funny part was I didn't have to do anything because all the thinking was done by him. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I want to show you something really interesting. I think you'll like it. It's a picture of yours and a dear friend of yours. Yes, with VVS Lakshman, a very happy photograph. Uh, but I believe your first uh, encounter with VVS Lakshman uh, when you were sharing a room was not so pleasant. Yeah, so basically uh, those days we used to share rooms uh, and on tours and stuff like that, and that's actually one of the few series where where we shared uh, shared rooms. After that, we all used to get single rooms, so uh, there was no issues <laughs> there ever was issues. that way. But yeah, I mean you know the, we uh, I checked in in the hotel and then Lakshman had already checked in hmm. and. Uh, he was also trying to change the roommate He's like oh i don't want to be roommates with zack and i was like oh i don't want to be roommates with lakshman but uh, it it worked well but we we didn't know we didn't know each other that well that time so as i walked in the room you know i was pretty quiet you know uh, him being a senior guy i was just maintaining my distance and stuff like that thinking that oh god knows like you know next 5 6 days how it's how is going to be and stuff such a organized so we had man. yeah so we had couple of practice sessions and and stuff which is which is routine with the team and uh, you know as as a bowler you get tired quite a lot <laughs> it was it was hot uh, so we we finished practice i i came back i was so tired that you know i just threw my bag one side <laughs> threw my shoes on the other side and stuff like that and he's like zack this is not on <laughs> you can't <laughs> you can't do this the shoe is supposed to go in that corner of the room you know your clothes needs to go here the dirty laundry needs to go there so first day i listened to him second day again uh, the same thing and i was like really really exhausted then the next day I didn't have energy so I was like uh, uh Lakshman you have problem with that <laughs> if the shoes are uh, lying in the wrong he's like yes so like then deal with the problem <laughs> don't tell me <laughs> so that was the beginning of the banter so you know and we after this incident we just both were laughing so much that you know he uh, he saw my dry humor in, in that and you're just realize that don't laughing. mess with yeah. that and and since then it's been uh, the similar kind of banter going on even till today You know, on cricket tours, many times girls come and meet me, and I realize that they've come to meet me to meet you. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, on tour, I don't disturb you. You know that. <laughs> But what I want I to ask you, I'm retired now. So <laughs> yeah. I, now, now you're not. You disturbed. can disturb me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so many proposals actually come via our media fraternity also, and you're the only cricketer probably who got a live proposal, not just like I love Zaheer kind of a thing, but somebody actually proposed to you on national television and stuff like that. I was very embarrassed, <laughs> and I think it, it shows on that uh, on that clip as well. I'm just happy the way I am, you know, and uh, yeah, that that moment was embarrassing, and you know, Yuvraj Singh made sure uh-huh. that it's it's taken to another level, and then I just kind of you know played along with that. Yuvraj Singh did a joke on you once where he said, "Zach, catch leta tha na, to ha 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 bolta tha, aur baad mein kisi aur ko lene ko bolta tha." What is that story? <laughs> well, it it happened in New Zealand actually, and you know, the, in uh, in Wellington, it's so windy, hmm. so. Uh, I don't remember the batsman actually who who it was uh, towards the end of the match and you mm. know we we had almost won the game like uh, around that time I think they were eight wicket down or it mm. was last wicket or something like that so it was just matter of time before we we finished the game but he hit a pull shot huh. okay and there was mid on standing there so I thought it's going to mid on huh. and such a heavy wind <laughs> in in Wellington. <laughs> that it actually took the ball from there so someone is hit a pull shot but the ball is not traveled that side because it went so high huh. it had that much more time and it just served in the air like that and went went to the covers so oh. i ran towards mid on and i'm just watching the ball watching the ball I didn't realize that i've gone this side and huh. then suresh raina was just just there uh, standing at covers huh. he had actually reached to the ball and i'm saying <laughs> i can't take it now you take it so, so what he said was zack did Mine, 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 yours. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Two layer. Yeah, I'm not able to take it. Zach, I'm going to show you something that millions of Indians dread, but you managed to escape. Mechanical engineering. Tell me, are you happy with the fact that you didn't have to do engineering and you're playing cricket? Oh, very happy. <laughs> uh, but at at one point, I was thinking that, oh, why did I quit engineering? <laughs> sure. Really? Yeah. How it, come? Well, I mean, you know, uh, three years, four years in Mumbai, you know, trying to uh, break it into the first class scene, you know, uh, wasn't really getting my opportunities and stuff like that. The job I was uh, I was working for, you know, that uh, that company was about to be uh, shut, 
so they were they were stopping cricket so uh, so you know there was no job place to stay and and no break in the first class so i was thinking oh engineering was a better bet <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine you yeah, have lost I mean, you to engineering i'm a i'm a believer in uh, in destiny you know so suddenly just things worked for me and i ended up playing uh, for baroda in the in the first class and i got my break and next season i was representing in indian team but apparently one of the articles i read which said that your father was the one who actually pushed you not to do engineering please tell us this story because your father might go down in history as the only father who told his son not to do engineering <laughs> i think the advantage was uh, my elder brother was engineer <laughs> so it's like <laughs> one is enough one engineer, engineer is enough in the family uh, but i think it was it was the biggest decision of my life you know and uh, i'm just always grateful for my my family for not putting really uh, any pressure ever uh, i mean uh, not just that decision even before that when i decided to go to mumbai you know hmm. uh, give, give cricket a try and stuff like that or my my family just never put any pressure on me and they were actually supportive of the fact that you know i want to take cricket seriously you know give take a break from uh, from studies and focus my energies only uh, on cricket for about a year two years like that see we are three <laughs> brothers you know he's like okay chal ek agar nikamma niklega koi nahi to sambhal lenge guys aur kya Asha Zack uh, I must tell you the most dreadful thing for a batsman at least is a duck what But does for a, a duck... bowler for a bowler is very happy when he sees a duck when a batsman scores a duck he is very happy nice perspective kya baat hai <laughs> but you don't uh, ask me about my ducks why not i can't pick one <laughs> there are so many <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, did you enjoy uh, taking batsmen specifically on ducks? All the bowlers would would tell you the same thing. If you get a batsman on duck, nothing like it. First ball, duck is the best. Asa <laughs> Zak, now that you have given me so many answers, I am going to present you a gift. Generally, you like it. Always like gifts. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. This is a jersey for you. Why forty four? Yes. I don't know. It's the number of ducks you have scored in really? all formats. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so I thought you know life me, you have done a lot of things. So you have to show a little balance for me. I am disappointed. Do. I haven't scored fifty of ducks. You are <laughs> disappointed. Should be fifty. And oh, all least. three formats, huh? So you are doing good for a bowler. Courtney Wall should be double. Not bad. <laughs> Zaheer Khan has kept the legacy of fast bowling alive in India. Otherwise, we were struggling. My theory is that fast bowlers have always been treated badly. So nobody wants to bowl fast. India was essentially a feudalistic society so all the rich people who owned the means of production were batsmen so even as kids when we played the rich kid always batted first and if he got out he took the bat ball and stumps with him the weakest sections of society were converted into fast bowlers and they were treated as labor class and by chance if the fast bowler took the rich kid's wicket he would declare it a trial ball and he further exploited him by giving him an abstract concept called as baby over with this kind of discrimination do you think anyone in india would want to become a fast bowler hope you like the episode my favorite moment with zack was when he told me how his father encouraged him to play cricket for more such seven up hum to hai like this moments do watch the next episode आप लोग तो दोनों मैंने सुना है कि काफी अच्छा खाना खाने के <laughs> तो मम्मी दिन भर किचन में होती है क्या दोनों दोनों भाई है थोड़े से खाने का हम लोग का शौक है और एक्चुअली मेरी माँ ने हमारी आदत डाली हुई है मुझे याद है जब पाकिस्तान के सामने मैच थी मैं नया नया टीम में था मेरी दूसरी ट्रिप थी मेरी हमेशा आदत थी बोलिंग से पहले मैं पूरी प्लेट भर के खाना खाता था तो पूरी प्लेट मेरी भरी हुई है वहाँ पे बिरयानी होती थी वहाँ पे लंच में मैच में निहारी वगैरह रखते थे तो मैं मैं तो छोड़ता नहीं था तो मैं रखता था और पाजी वहां से आ गए सचिन पाजी तो मेरी प्लेट भरी हुई देखी अरे इरफान क्या हुआ अपना उनको मालूम था कि टॉस के बाद क्या हुआ अपना बैटिंग है ना मैं क्या नहीं पाजी बोलेंगे अपना फिर मेरी प्लेट देखी अच्छा बोलेंगे अपना <laughs> ऐसे करके चले गए वो मेरी आखिरी प्लेट थी उसके बाद पाजी उधर मैं उधर प्लेट ले गया तो मैं कभी उनके सामने खाना नहीं खाता था क्योंकि मुझे आदत थी मैं अगर खाना नहीं खाऊंगा मेरे से बॉलिंग नहीं होगी तो खाने की आदत पहले से पड़ी हुई